So this is the FXI with the Samsung Exynos, Samsung Exynos chipset. So it's a dual core Cortex A9 with a quad core Mali 400. And everything fits inside of here? Yep, just in this kind of thing. So you've got HDMI on one end, USB on the other for power, um, a micro uh, USB, so we've got that hooked up to the PS3 controller. It's got a um, micro SD card slot for your yeah. files. It's currently running um, Linux. Linux? Mm -hmm. And you have a 3D demo actually working? Yep, uh, so we've got um, our in-house game True Force you know running on it. Yeah. So I can... Um, Start a new game, introductory level. So full Mali 400 graphics. Yep. So 1080p, um, stereoscopic 3D as well. We can turn that on in a moment if you'd like. Um, it's running. You can see the FPS count in the top right. So on this tiny little, uh, set, we're doing over 30 frames per second. So it's like actually completely amazing, right? Yes. Uh, so this device is so small. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there any like uh, stuff they have to remove to make it small like that, or like compared to a bigger motherboard? Or? Uh, well, it is an embedded um, uh, device, uh, the same chipset that's found in the Samsung Galaxy S2. So um, it, it's, it's not something you'd run, say, for a set-top box. It's, it's very low power. It, it powers straight off the USB, so it only needs five volts. So basically, it has exactly the same power as a Galaxy S2, uh, but well, less. Yeah, the, the doesn't have less features somehow. No, um, it's actually lower power because obviously you don't have all the transmitters, the, um, the screen, and so on. So it's folded motherboard somehow. They fold it like yeah, four times. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, I'm not. I've not had a look inside it yet, but yeah, it's um, called cotton candy from FXI technology.